To balance this equation, aluminum sulfate plus calcium phosphate, let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. And we're going to do something a little different here. We have SO4 here, and we have it again here. It's a polyatomic ion. It's called the sulfate ion. So since we have it here, it stays together in the reaction, and here we're just going to count it as one item. Same for the phosphate ion, PO4. We have it here. It stays together. We have one right here. So we'll just count it as one item. That'll make it a lot easier to keep track of all the atoms as we balance this equation. Let's do it. Two aluminums, three sulfates, three calciums, and two phosphates. On the product side of the equation, one aluminum, one sulfate, one calcium, and one of the phosphates there. Why don't we start by balancing the calcium? That might even balance the sulfate. So I have three here, one here, coefficient of three, one times three gives me three calciums. Those are balanced. One sulfate times three, that gives us three, and those are balanced. Let's do the aluminums next. We have two here and one here. Put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum phosphate. One aluminum times two, that gives us two. They're balanced. One phosphate times two, that gives us two, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of counting the sulfate as one thing when it appears on both sides of the equation, or the phosphate. It makes it just a lot easier to keep track of the atoms, and it's much less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2SO43 plus Ca3PO42, aluminum sulfate plus calcium phosphate. Thanks for watching.